Hey, Hubie Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, on Saturday night here in Europe, it was the Eurovision Song Contest. And if you don't know anything about that, well, it was really different this time. But for the past 60 years, uh, every year, all these countries in Europe kind of gathered together. And they had this competition where they sort of have a national song and then everybody votes. Uh, they go around Europe sort of phoning in votes and... Uh, and it's always been a very, very funny night as each nation brings their own individual style and everything. So we used to get umpa umpa sort of music from Germany and mournful ballads from France and things. And now all the fun has gone out of it, actually. They even let Australia into it this time. How are you? Australia is European, I don't know. Um, and uh, and it's really, really strange because it's got so professional. The staging of it was st- Stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, but this time, everybody came in wearing the same costumes. All the girls were wearing these long dresses, halter neck <laughs> dresses, plunging necklines. All the guys were wearing black and white uh, black suits with white shirts, and they were all essentially singing the same song. And um, and in fact, you could have taken them all out, and they could be kind of classic English stroke American pop songs. Um, and the only one who was kind of really different at all was 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 Britain, uh, who, who kind of went for the old-fashioned style, and and in fact did a song that was more kind of nineteen twenties American jazz, if anything. So uh, so it's really really strange uh, trying to draw it, because while you're drawing, essentially you get twenty seconds to to think about what you're going to draw, and that in the camera, and. And, and, and why and what you're going to focus on and everything. And then you get about 15 seconds of actually seeing the person that you're going to draw close up. And and then I tweet it as well. So I've got to draw the whole thing. And I've got about a, a three minute window to decide what to draw, to draw it, come up with a funny punchline, photograph it, type in the, <laughs> type in the, the comment, <laughs> tweet it, tumble it. Facebook it and Instagram it <laughs> and then bang on to the next one when which uh, by which stage I hadn't actually heard who the next people were I was asking around it said who was this country we're working on there so it was panic and this is about an hour and a half or something of doing this so anyway this was Slovenia who came along wearing a pair of headphones now, I don't know if she had hearing issues or whatever but so I put headphones how to get the big curl style which is kind of all the girls had this kind of big curl hair um so I thought maybe that's how she was getting her big curls, wearing um, headphones. What that was about, I don't know. France. Now, she just stood there. And uh, there was a, a TV advertisement of uh, different ways of letting your deodorant dry. And the, the mummy, this was called. And she just stood there looking like she was waiting for her deodorant to dry or making sure that her armpits didn't get wet. <laughs> Anyway, you don't want to know about that. Uh, Israel was the golden boy. He had these kind of weird wings on his shoes. So I'm not sure what that was about. Estonia. You see, now they just came and stood there. And this was the problem with the whole night. People just stood in front of microphones. Whereas before they've had complicated things going on. And it was just nothing, none of that. This is all about shadows and lighting. Uh, the UK came along. <laughs> she, she wore this dress that lit up. They were the, uh, <laughs> my tweet for that was the market leaders in, in wearable technology. So she, her dress was covered in LEDs, which kind of lit up and did exciting things, uh, which is quite funny. <laughs> um, Armenia, this guy just looked, he just couldn't believe his luck. He was with these five beautiful women who were all kind of ooh, ooh, ooing around him. And again, all wearing long dresses and all had these kind of fairy elven headdresses and, and things. So... He just looked like the cat that had got the cream. Um, Lithuania, she just came on and went, whoa, whoa, whoa. There was a lot of whoa, whoa, whoaing. Whoa, whoa, whoa was the word of this year or the phrase. Uh, I don't remember her at all. Serbia, she was a big girl. And her song was all about being I'm different and it's OK, which is kind of a theme that has won every now and then. So last year, the theme was I'm different and it's OK and... So they obviously thought, mm, we'll go with that theme this year. But it never works to try and do what they did last year. You're never going to win. Uh, Norway. I'm half Norwegian, so I always watch Norway <laughs> with interest. 
I can't remember them at all. <laughs> Sweden. Now, they went on to win, and I don't think it was the best song. I really don't. Um, uh, in fact, it sounded like a load of um, themes by the cause, if you know the cause, all kind of strung together. But it won because it was a very cleverly staged uh, thing and precisely choreographed. Uh, with lots of little animations. So he was dancing with these back projected animations. Uh, and he could woo 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 too. So that was the thing. Cypress, he was quite fun. Uh, and he just wasn't quite a hipster, but he looked like he wanted to be one. <laughs> um, and Australia, uh, I didn't understand that at all. Belgium, and a lot of people wanted Belgium to win. He was a young lad, he was about 19 or something. Um, what does he say? We go rup bup bup. Yeah. We go rup, bup, bup tonight. So uh, I think he's got a good future ahead of him, actually. The, the original song just used to be the kiss of death. If <laughs> you went on there, your career was finished. Uh, whereas now, um, I don't know, people actually actually see it as a legitimate thing now, which is strange. Uh, Austri Austria, there's this guy playing on the piano, and the piano caught fire. <laughs> It was meant to. I don't know what that was about. Uh, Greece. I get it. Now, she stood. There were a lot of girls who just stood there in these long frocks. And I think they're probably standing on boxes underneath their frocks. So they're standing up really, really tall. And their frocks sort of flowing out. And they were looking exactly like the winner from last year, who was a man with a beard, with a long, with long hair and a dress. And he stood there just like that, looking fantastic. So they've all done exactly the same as he did last year. Wearing the same dress almost and everything. So, I don't know. And they all got the same hairstyle. Montenegro. Yeah, he, he looked like he'd had quite a bit of surgery, I think. Um, or Botox or something. His eyes. Were, anyway, let's not go into personal detail. Germany, she was, oh, she was, ah, had her hair done so tight. And uh, very robotic kind of stuff. And, and everyone was singing in English. But she was not only singing in English, she was trying to sound like Adele with a kind of a South London accent. Because that's what's popular. Poland, your original hairdresser only knows one star. So they all have the same hair this year. Latvia, she's got slightly different hair because she had this kind of mm, headdress, slightly kind of Mongolian style headdress kind of thing. I don't know. Or, or maybe it's sort of Sami sort of... Uh, yeah something but anyway same dress standing on a box Romania <laughs> he had a lovely shiny head can you see him he had a lovely shiny head <laughs> and a black, black suit white tie stood in front of his microphone okay it's a song contest but that's all they have to do in theory Spain well I got confused because she came on and she looked just like the lady from Greece who'd been on a minute before <laughs> Uh, Hungary, yes, I had the same hairdresser too. <laughs> uh, then at last Georgia came along. We had a bit of a goth with sort of great big crow's feathers coming out of her um, shoulders. Uh, she was a bit more fun. But again, she had this kind of elven fairy hair, hair this sort of hairband thing, which has turned up into three, like the Latvian thing. Um, Azerbaijan, now the person singing it was was just another... I don't even know if it was a man or a woman, but it was kind of... If it was a man, it was a, 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 a black suit with a white shirt. And I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. But it, whoever it was had these two dancers who were kind of creeping around. They were actually very good dancers, and they were doing these kind of <laughs> very weird contorted things, but they were kind of like swamp creatures <laughs> contorting around. <laughs> and then Russia came along, and she was standing on a box with this beautiful white frock. Lovely, pretty lady, and and the lighting was stunning, and they had these intense, bright white spots playing all over the frock, and it just looked fantastic. And everybody thought they were going to win, but it just didn't quite in the end. Albania, same dress, but this time it was in black. You see, I should be going like that. That's where it's gone wrong, isn't it? So this should be in black. Uh, 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 uh. And finally, Italy. Three nice young lads. They were tenors, singing opera, basically. Um, I actually, I thought they were going to win, but I think they came about third in the end. So um, I thought, I thought 
I thought Italy would come first and I thought Russia was going to come second and I think Latvia I thought was going to come third. So I got Italy Italy and Russia. So Russia came second so, and they came third, I think. So I got I got that quite good, but I didn't see Sweden. Um, these are kind of ske <laughs> sketches of the presenters. Um, I was a bit tired by them. So what do you do with sketches like these, which are done so quickly, but they're, if you draw this kind of thing, it goes into your mind and it just lodges and you can bring them out as characters later. Um, and you see him, I quite, uh, I, I was thinking, I'm in him. Um, I'm gonna see what we do. This guy, you see later you can come back to it. And I, and I remember he had this kind of bit there and and you can just take a bit more time and develop it a bit more but you've got to get something down to start with and, and he had these very triangular eyebrows because i think his face had been lifted up so high <laughs> so many times and and it's just and then you just sort of play around with you know in in the intensity of drawing so quickly You've seen things and thought that's important. And so you draw these things down, draw the things that are, that are sort of subconsciously important to you. And, and you draw them very, very quickly and you put them down. And so you kind of got an essence of something which, um, which you can then kind of work with afterwards and kind of make it a bit more, um, something <laughs> you see I'm, I'm i'm drawing now i'm trying to I'm, i gotta draw and think and talk at the same time again no no i think we need that a bit more open and then so it's got a very kind of bullet pointed head and this probably doesn't look like him at all but what i'm thinking of in terms of kind of illustration is that this is a potential character for something and if it isn't a potential character for something then at least I'm kind of my my hand is rehearsing shapes and kind of learning how faces are put together and little marks that go together to um to to, to, to make up a face if that makes any sense at all and and I think many times people are reluctant to draw because they think, oh, it's not going to be any good. That's not the point. Just bang it down, get it down as quickly as possible because along the way you are learning something. You're just picking up one little thing, a gesture, just a little something, and you've got to get it down. And then you can come back to it afterwards and play with it and see what happens. And uh, and I think I think I want his... his uh, coat to be coming up from much higher up there like that. An enormous um, <laughs> collar. Just got a sort of big thick neck. Uh, and it's a kind of a gesture of kind of triumph or something, isn't it? And something like that. And 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 from this, you just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and developing and developing. And and then this is how characters start to appear and you kind of make it more and more grotesque <laughs> and try out this and try out that. And, uh, and so from a, a, a 30 second rapid, rapid panic sketch, you know, things start to develop. And, and that is the way to use, um, you know, really quick gesture kind of drawing. And I don't do, half enough of it but the more that you do the more that you do do the more quickly you get your eye in and the more quickly you can get that connection between what you've seen into the end of your pencil and just get it down quickly and you kind of build up a shorthand uh, of, of, of marks and sketches that will kind of put together the things that you want does that make sense um anyway that's why you original song contest sketchbook for another year <laughs> you can see it all on twitter and things like that anyway <laughs> 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, and you like sketchbooks, go and have a look at my Amsterdam sketchbook. Um, I've got a whole playlist of sketchbooks as well. Or try the mystery drawing. Make sure you're subscribed to the She Ran and Drawing channel for lots, lots more about drawing and stuff like that. And you can support me on Patreon and get step-by-step sheets and lots, lots more. Join my kind of art school that I'm starting to run on there. Um, learn all about illustration, stuff like that. In the meantime, Keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.